Welcome back, everybody, to Dungeons & Dragons Audience Control. We are in the middle of a bandit fight, but before we get to that, um, we, had to, we kind of had to take that break to recover from that massive donation that came in. We have smashed the £2,000 barrier for the month, which is more than double the original goal. Um, and uh, thanks to the, the sheer size of that, don of that donation, uh, I've decided to meet some of the stretch incentives that were in place for the... Uh, for this uh for this stream which is going to give each of the players an extra ability that they can use in this fight that they're currently in uh so let's go through them one by one argic you now have the ability to perform an extra attack oh yeah uh delphico kami you now have the brutal critical ability Ooh. uh Huds, you now have the uncanny dodge ability, so you're going to take half damage from anything that you can see. And Waffits, you now have the misty escape ability, so you can get a free misty step when you take damage. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully that will help out in the fight that is to come. Uh, there are still incentives open to um, lower that crit barrier even lower. The players are now critting on 18s, the enemies are now critting on 19s. There are still rewards that you can buy, like adding enemies, wild magic rolls, uh, healing players, giving enemies health potions, inspiration. Uh, go ahead and click on the Tiltify link and find out wh what you can put your donations to. Uh, but for now, I'm going to hand over back to the Prince of Crows himself to uh, carry on the fight. Let's go. So, uh... As you, as pick up where we left off, you guys have entered the bandit camp, disguised as entertainers and actors. You perform the play. Brill Havocus, um, his second, um, Giles, the bandit leader, second in command, seems to have a plan and he basically seems to have hired at least someone, a part of part of the acting troupe, to uh, kill Giles and had arranged for a private meeting, which he thought was what. So I don't know how dark this tavern was he originally met the guy in, but he didn't realise what wasn't the same person. Uh, and you got, But it tied in well. You guys obviously wanted to kill Giles. Brill wanted Giles to be dead. Hey, you know, you're all friends here. Why not? And you did a rather good performance, a genuinely good performance. The crowd loved it. You went back to meet Giles and you drew your weapons and have begun to attack him. He's looking seriously hurt. He's bloodied, but he has managed to cry out for help and several of his bandit compatriots have arrived to uh, help their leader but Argek at the moment is currently holding them back. Juniper has just reappeared while Janimo and Watt face down the bandits and Giles himself. Juniper, after your wild magic, your sorceress origins had taken you to the astral plane for six seconds, you reappear and it is your go. Come on back. Uh, <laughs> I am going to... Oh, I've come back and there's a million more people. Yeah, literally in the six seconds you've gone, you like yeah. hit him with you know chaos ball, manage in the astral plane. Uh, Back, where have all these bandits yeah. come from? <laughs> Where's everyone come from? So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna chaos bolt again, but at first level, um, on Giles. Yeah, he's looking rough. I guess. Yeah. No, no. Oh, so close. No. <laughs> so close. Oh, well. It goes out of the hole that was made by the lightning, uh, lightning, <laughs> lightning breath weapon of Argic. Oh, well. It maybe hit someone out there, but it doesn't affect this battle right now. Yeah, yeah you know, we've not had in a while, though. Oh, a while yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, first wild magic is for the spell that you just used. Yeah. What are we on now? We're, just, we... on, we're just on oh, one. We're, we're just on <laughs> one, and it's there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Right. <laughs> so Good. what are we on that? <laughs> Seventy-five. So right. Okay. Oh, this is amazing. This is actually so good. So. Oh no. You know, you know, as you cast your Chaos Bolt first time and you hit Giles and you start to electrocute him, you know, in a puff of magic, your Sorcerer's Aura and you just vanish and you come back and there's so many more bandits and you hit him again, focused on your task at hand to bring down this evil bandit leader. And as you do so, the magic within you just begins to pour from your pores, orifices, everything, and you now glow. <laughs> Oh, with no. a bright light for 30 <laughs> in a 30-foot radius. 
The light is so bright that any creature that ends its turn within five foot, i.e. next to you, is blinded. God damn it! <laughs> Sorry, Argy! So, it can has still to move. end its turn, so Argy <laughs> will get a chance to move, and your, the creature is blinded for one round until the end of its next go. So the creature has to end its turn. So, but yeah, I mean, if you run into that crowd of bandits, they are all blind, is all I'm saying. You are a blind, blinding bright beacon. And oh, you also have to keep shouting, don't forget, for the next okay. minute. Or like okay. seven, eight, eight more rounds. Oh, yeah. So eight rounds of shout. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nine <laughs> rounds of light. Never <laughs> the way. <laughs> this is so brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so, Janimo the Halfling Rogue, you are up. I am up. Uh, I am going to turn to my left, draw my short swords, and attack the bandit directly nice. in front of me now. Here we go. 2d20s? Uh, this will not be advantage, unfortunately. No, it's a straight roll. 1d20. Go for it. <sighs> oh, dear. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, he's got a hefty axe. He kind of brings it down, blocks with the haft. Looks like on his turn, he's going to swing back. It is Giles's go, and man, is Giles Can looking rough. Any more wild magic? Did you say someone bought one? Because that was technically just for my spell. There will be. We'll do it next turn. Okay. Uh, we'll, cool. we'll cap it at one per turn, shall we? <laughs> I just don't want anyone to. <laughs> Raving it up. Yeah. So Sorry. Giles is. Ooh. You know what? He's sneaky, isn't he? He's a rogue. Let's see if he can do this. Oh, would he do it? I don't know. You know what? You've got to go with what? I'm gonna, oh my God. Sorry, he disengages. Because he's surrounded there. Doesn't like that very much. And he's going to be the devilish rogue he is. He's going to try and grapple. Despite it's blinding, he's going to try and grapple. Juniper. That, <laughs> that is a... Is that an attack roll? An action. Oh, it's an action. It's going to be an opposed. So he'll make an athletics check. And Juniper, mm -hmm. you can combat this with an acrobatics or athletics. Only of your use my Misty Retreat if it's damage. Only if it's damage, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> that wasn't actually intentional until he just mentioned it. Yeah, he's just seeing you as probably the uh. weaker one that you can grab. <laughs> <laughs> but it is going to blind uh, him. So, so he he's going to use athletics. And uh, he's I'm got. Gonna... Uh, oh, that's pretty so, good. So hold on. Yeah. I have the protection reaction, and it okay. says while wielding a shield and a creature you can see mm. attacks a target other than you within five yeah. feet, you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage. Can I would I say do so. that. Yeah, I reckon so. Rule of kill to me I mean Magic. it's not <laughs> technically an attack, I see, but it's a hostile action, right? He's trying to grab yeah, it. Yeah, like, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to come in and try and defend it. So, yeah, exactly. and Unipers within five feet of me, so. Yeah. Like, if I'm in the street and someone tries to punch me or grab me, to me, <laughs> both things are pretty hot. It's an attack, yeah. It's <laughs> like, yo, yeah. what are you doing? I mean, he got a 19, so this could be this could be well needed. Let's roll. Oh, he goes for hey, one! He yeah. goes for one! Hey. Argic shield comes up at the last second and I'll deflects his outreaching hands. He was, his intent was to grab you, and he's got he's pretty nifty with a dagger. God knows what he was going to do. But uh, whatever his plan was, and he's going <laughs> to... Blinded by the light, take five foot step back, but that is, is unfortunately his entire go. That uh, was rude! <laughs> Giles, it is Giles' go. What did your go? Um, he ran away. There's a bandit right in front of me. Um, that bandit right in front of me can have an axe. Nice. Um, recklessly. Recklessly, indeed. 15. Yeah, that hits. These guys aren't particularly well armored, not like Giles. So that is uh, a 10. Oh, no, 11. 11. 11, 11 exactly. Really what you need. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have 11 HP, these guys. Now, these are not as strong as the IA, kind of the thieves you met earlier that were out and about. They were hardier stuff. These guys are half drunk. They've already been, well, you have to find out what they've been doing. But yeah, that one is dead. Oh, in that case, I'm going to move up to Giles and use my bonus action to hit him with my other axe. Nice. I'm not going to stand there, though. Nope. I'm going to jump on the table. Yeah, yeah, of course. If you want, I will let you roll an acrobatics check. If you pass and do well, I'll give you advantage. If you fail it, I'll say it's a DC 12, you get disadvantage on this roll. Okay. Fine with that. Ten. Uh, you, Damn it. Ten. So, unfortunately, it's disadvantage, but if you're being reckless, it'll cancel out. Yeah. 
Straight roll. So just straight roll. You jump on the table, straight roll. 14, so that's a miss. It's a miss, unfortunately. Uh, top of the round, uh, the bandits now get their go. So <clears throat> he's going to take an attack opportunity there as he leaves Argix field of a uh, sphere of influence 18 18 definitely hits uh da, 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 da. so that should be 1d8 plus 2 give us a good hit 7 points of damage 7 points of damage I'm going to start saving their health on them yeah he's looking pretty rough uh, these guys are going to step in now and all three are going to attack uh, remembering I did take dodge. the dodge action yeah, so they exactly all have that. disadvantage so I'll roll these one at a time disadvantage so that's a sit four is gonna miss yeah. <laughs> second one and three is gonna miss this is what they do seven eleven yeah, yeah, yeah man they are not doing well boom yeah that is what that is what paladins do isn't it they step in they take the hits that's the bandits go and argic it is your chance for revenge it is a revenge <laughs> um, <laughs> you now have as well the extra attack ability. i do i was thinking that it's probably going to be an idea where i'm just gonna swipe at the one that's in front of me yeah um so we're just gonna yeah, so I'll just take a swing with the uh, the Warhammer and see what we get. That is 11. It uh, just misses, unfortunately. And then with the second action, I'm just going to go right back into the dodge. So I'm just preparing to take another set of blows on them. Oh, when you attack, you have to do both attacks, unfortunately. Oh, is that all right? Yeah, no yeah, you choose to do all the attacks or none. Yeah, do all the attacks. Well, there you go. 20, that, that 51. Hits. Yeah, that definitely he's getting, he's getting blasted then, if that's the case. <laughs> um, 1d8 plus 2. Oh, 4. 4 damage. It's looking, looking Next hurt. Next round might be a bit bloody for me. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> Juniper, it is your go, and you are a walking beacon of light that is shouting at people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm also blinded next turn now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. As is, as is the bandit, though. So that guy, yeah, that guy is blinded. He's absolutely right. Um, I'm gonna move to the right towards try. No, actually, leave me there. <laughs> leave me there. Um, uh, I'm going to. Oh, God, I'm not blinded, right? I'm just no. magic. I'm just glowing. Okay, That's, that makes ma no sense, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you're uh... not looking at yourself. True, true. Um, I'm going to magic missile, Giles. Nice. Um, old uh, faithful magic. Yeah, cannot miss. And magic I'll, missile, you cannot miss. Yeah, I'll use my last second level for two d four. Not much damage, but this could this could be close. Ooh, is exactly Gosh. what you needed. <gasps> exactly on the dot. How would you oh. want to do it? Oh, uh, <laughs> I feel like I've stolen a kill. <laughs> <laughs> exactly on the dot. I was saying to going two d six, two d four. You might survive this. You might be all right for the round. Yeah? Perhaps uh, uh, he might even run out the tent. He can't hold the tent. He could run out. Perhaps wild magic might give some inspiration as to how the killing perhaps, blow goes. Well, yeah, true. Uh, well, you guys have all got inspiration as well. Don't forget, we haven't needed it yet, but you do have inspiration. Not, yeah. True. Okay, I'll allow magic and have a think of my. Oh my Go god, it was it. nearly a two. Um. <laughs> So that's the that's the one for the magic missile. Uh, we do have a couple oh. more to do. So oh, nice. so it's getting harder each time. I like it. Thanks harder to day. thanks to Steel Rose for a five pound donation. <laughs> okay. And one more You're from right. Delphic Okami. <gasps> oh, that sounds familiar. <laughs> All right, no more magic this turn, but no more magic. Okay. Um, I feel like. It makes sense that she is a little bit blinded, so it'll be very much like a bit of a, oh, and then, <laughs> like, accidentally probably hits him, honestly. Like, you guys are all fighting, and what you see 
a shouting <laughs> beacon of light that is just appears from the astral plane, just launches magic out of her hand, outstretched hands, and they fly around. You kind of duck in. Argus blinded. He can't quite see what's going on. What? <laughs> Janimo's there, you know, he's hold up with his daggers ready. And what? You're getting that hess and that axe once again. You know, I've got this guy. I've, you know, ready. this is my kill. You just see these three beams of light strike into him and knock him to the side. You see his eyes roll in his head as Giles Novell just drops to the floor and stops moving. That gold buckle which we need is proof lying there on his chest. <laughs> and he is dead. Pretty sure Lathander just killed it. It's fine. <laughs> the yeah, no, right, like, the glasses are beacon of light. Janimo, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is your go. It is my go. Uh, uh, I think we're going to uh, we're going to come to Argic's rescue, who's about to be blinded. I'm no, going I to am move. blinded. <laughs> <laughs> he is blinded. Sorry. I'm going to move in there. I'm going to take on the bandit to the left and attack with my. Yeah, you'll actually get up to, um, advantage. Yeah, perfect. We'll go there then. Mm-hmm. Um, in which case, then, yes, we'll take both short swords out, one in each hand, nice. and we shall strike hard. You fast. will get the uh, multiple D- 2d20 per attack again here on this one. You get the advantage. Nice. Let's go. One per cheek, please. No, not like that. I see we're oh, back to the normal luck. One misses, <laughs> but the second one... Oh, mind you, what's your... No, you might actually hit. Sorry, nine plus... Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, nine plus three? Oh, sorry, no. It's only plus eight plus five. Plus, but the second one oh, sorry, plus five dexterity, isn't it? Oh, eight plus five, is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry, yes. Hit. Sorry, they both hit. It's dex and proficiency. Nice. So, yeah, they both hit. So, uh, yeah, two damage rolls. Nice. Uh, uh, D6, yeah? yeah. Yeah, it's 2d6. And sneak attacks with 3d6. Nice. That's one. That's one. Oh, Dude. come on. Nice. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Wait, my, my sneak attack is 2d6 on its own. Should it not be? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it should be 4d6, actually. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, right. you're right. Good foul. Yeah. Right. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> is rolling, dude. I mean, you just rip this guy's hair back and just sever his throat, and that guy is gone. Sorry, you can still move as well. You've got movement left if you wanted to move. Yeah, absolutely. No, move me where you just moved me so we can block the entrance. So you, I can tell I've played the role. My immediate habit is take the gap. <laughs> yep. the gap. <laughs> yep. So uh, that, wow, yeah, that is a brutal kill. Uh, what? It is your go. I think this guy in front of me needs to die, so <laughs> just rex- reckless axes. Go for it. To his face. He's blinded as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that a is. crit. Yeah. It is a crit. It, it is a crit. crit. It is a crit. Yay. Okay. What's this new ability I've got? <laughs> uh, brutal crit. Brutal oh, crit. You roll an extra D8 on your crit. I roll an extra D8. Yeah. Was it D12? Uh, yeah, just, uh, you can roll things, your normal dice. I'll quickly check for you. Uh, it's uh, a weapon damage dice, so it's just a d6 for me. Whatever you got, yeah, my bad. So, yeah, it's just 3d6. Oh, no, just three. Just three. Uh, <laughs> uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten damage. Yeah, that, I mean, that's, that kills me. He's already wounded. Boom. He is also gone. Ah. Uh... There's nowhere I can get a line on any of these people, though, is there? I would say, how far can you move? Because we Giles was uh, about here, wasn't he? And I said there's a hole in the tent. So you yeah. could maybe go one, two, three. Yeah, you could get there. Yeah, in that case, I will run around, <laughs> dive through the hole in the tent. In the tent. This is brilliant. <laughs> Come around the side. Bonus action. Axe to this guy's neck. Uh, that's a six. That's a sixteen. Yeah. So yeah, that's me. Hits. This guy is so far untouched. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm rubbish with seven. Seven. Right. Terrible at numbers. <laughs> he's nearly dead, but he's uh, he's doing okay so far. Uh, that's their going now. Oh man, uh, these poor poor guys. Uh, right. I mean, they're in a fight to the death now. So one attack towards what the one you've just hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, 15 hits hits and I'll roll the damage in a second and the second attack to Argic from the other guy yeah, that's a definite miss 
So rolling uh, d6, do, 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 for the damage to the Barbarian, what? Uh, eight, I believe, halved? Yeah. Yeah. So as long as it's damage. piercing, slashing, or bludgeoning. Yeah, non-magical slashing, halved. Yeah. Boom, that's their go. Argit, because your go. You I'm are, blinded. You, I can't even do my... <laughs> probably... Your eyes are actually oh, recovering. Still, own... and, oh, no, it's the end of your next go. Sorry, yo. Yeah, you're blinded, unfortunately. Still attack, but it's disadvantage. Um... Yeah, why not? Let's just go for it. Let's yep. just see what happens. Two attacks will be two dice twice. Take the lowest. Oh, well, that's a five. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Unfortunately, you need a seven, I think, to hit. And that's a uh, nine. So that's going to hit. Yeah, you feel that hitting. hammer and just swing it in front of you. You feel it connect. Uh, so I'm aiming for the one that what hit. Because I'm trying to steal the kill. Uh, <laughs> so Again, swinging it in big arcs. Yeah. Uh, five plus two, seven. Seven. Yeah, he's dead. Stolen. It's meant to be for the one in front of me, but as you say, I'm blinded, so it's just this big swing of the hammer. But I feel it as it moves round to the left hand side. It's like, wait a minute, that was the wrong one. Like, what was that? <laughs> So, with that, yeah, I mean, top of the round. Sorry, Juniper, it's your go. Do you want to move Argic at all? Nah, nah I'm just stay put. I'll Happy stay day. blinded. No like, as far as I'm aware, there's still people in front of me. I don't know. I'm just trying to tank. So, Juniper, your go. I am going to. Um, because I'm a halfling baby. Mm. Can I get out of the tent via through Argic on that band? Because <laughs> I've got halfling nimbleness so I can move through people who are larger than me. You, yeah, you can move through your friends freely. Um, you know what? I'll you stay here then. Oh wait, I can go like one. I can yeah. go through. Oh no, I can't go through. But it's because he's little like me. Yeah. Um, I mean, technically, you could, go, could you go you diagonal go? down through me? Yeah, you could do that. I'd also actually say, if you want, because you're blinding in your light, <laughs> I'd let you make a dex roll to see if you blind him as you run through his legs. And he can't hit you. I roll dex through his roll. legs. Your dex, I'll say it'll be DC sure. 15. Okay, you let's do go. It. No. No, unfortunately not. So Fair. I'd say you get about there, you just bounce off him. <laughs> Fair. Um, so you okay. use of movement, that's all. That's fair. Five and then five back, so I'll do that. So I'm back there, okay. Um, I'll just do, I'll move behind Argic then, and I'll do a little fireball. Oh, <laughs> a little no. Fireball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm little, it's fine, I'll crouch. <laughs> it's not your spell, it's the wild <laughs> magic I'm worried of it. <laughs> Technically it's a cantrip, so it shouldn't. DM discretion. <laughs> Let's see what you get first. No. Nope. nope. <laughs> I need to actually ask the god of mischief here. Dan, have we been doing, or Minders, have we been doing the kind trips while magic? No. Yeah. We have no. not. We have some. No. Then it's As far as I'm aware, we haven't, but. Unless, unless I, I thought some spells were kind we did. Yeah, we did in the yeah. stage. Yeah, I think we should. I think we should. I feel like you're absolutely just, you're, you're going wild now. It is Why decided. Not? Yeah, you should. You 100% okay. should. Oh, I don't know what we're on though. Hopefully, Dan's got. We're we're now on after that roll. We're now on four or lower. Four or lower. Okay. Cool. With that, Juniper, Janimo, back to you. But uh, you're blinded. You're not yet blinded. You can see a light behind yeah. is emitting behind you. That if you Aww. do not leave at your turn, you will become blind. <laughs> Fine. I'm I'm going I'll, to. I'll move back one. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> yeah. Fair, fair. Yeah. That's May fine. I suggest, if you want, as a bonus, you pick up Giles's belt buckle. Oh yeah, proof. I'll do that. Yeah. Fair. So I'll make a note that Juniper has the buckle. <laughs> I'm the bandit queen now. <laughs> That's how it works. Fair, yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> I'd like Jenna to Mo. flank this remaining bandit on the left side. So you can do that, yeah. Yeah, and then we shall take the short swords once again. Nice. For some mighty swings. Advantage as well, so you can roll again for that. Thank goodness, because that was terrible. <laughs> that wasn't much better. <laughs> if you want, you can use your second attack using your bonus. Uh, sorry, my... Your second short sword. 
Ah, uh, yes, thank you. And there'll be two more rolls as well, because still a badge. Yeah. Fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Hits. fourteen. Yeah, hits. Beautiful. You'll get your sneak attack as well, still. Yeah. So one d six for the hit. One. And two d six for the sneak attack. Is this guy taking damage yet? No, he hey. hasn't. Six. So he's looking pretty rough. I'm going to say for the sake of expedience here, because this guy's got like four HP and you guys are all fine, you kill him. <laughs> <laughs> there. Because uh, Juniper will just mark off, you got six rounds of shouting, seven rounds of light. Because now some of you are outside the tent. As you step outside, oh, and there's also a gap here, don't forget, which what, what ran out of. Um, what you see now is the bandit in a little bit of a civil war. Ooh. And it looks like Brill, who hired you to kill the bandits, you see various ones now. And this explains why some of how only some of them led to Giles' defense that are slaughtering other ones. You see like these guys with the axes just to keep it separate in terms of mechanic and so we can see visually, but in game terms, you see just different people fighting are on, seem to be on one side fighting the bandits. For example, you know, these are fighting these ones over here. These are fighting. There are all these little pockets of fighting throughout. And you see Brill here has currently got two bodies around him. And you see as you step outside, he guts one more person like that. Looks like uh, Brill, who was, uh, who said in his um, speech that he was there when Giles took control, maybe wasn't always happy under Giles' leadership and is uh, a little coup d'etat. So you have the buckle. You see the bandits are civil fight, civil, in a bit of a fighting amongst themselves. And you see, as you get outside, Horatio's cart is galloping away. His horse with the cart is going away as fast as he can. He has got out of this place. What do you guys want to do? At the moment, no one has immediately noticed you leave the tent. I want to put the buckle on. Put the buckle on. <laughs> cool, you've got a bandolier now. The bandolier yep. is quite big for you. It's more like a, a, a you know, oh, like, yeah, like, 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 like a like a It's like down to your knee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, that's it. I'm just glowing, so I'm just, just waiting glowing, for someone to know it. <laughs> Surprisingly, despite the fact you're glowing, everyone is so involved in fighting for their <laughs> lives. They haven't yet noticed you. So uh, you I'm, guys could either try and flee or attack or anything else you want to do. Uh, I, I can't want to leave because I'm very heavily dying. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just thinking it's like, we came in, we did what we wanted to do. We were told just to go grab the bandolier. We got it. I mean, you know? Brill did promise us a diamond. Uh, I think, um, I think do you wish to go him. ask him for the diamond? I, I'm, ne I'm, I'm, I'm really in a lot of pain. <laughs> Can you I ask? mean, right, okay, are we still in initiative right now? If you want to be, we'll carry on. If not, and you guys want to make an escape, um, you know what, I'd say, yeah, we probably are, actually, because if you want to make an escape, we'll do a couple of rolls. Either way, it depends on what you want to do, but... Well, I'm thinking right now, I can live... For, if we're back at the top of the round... Yeah. I think that's me. Yes, it is, yeah. Um, I can just use Lay on Hands right now as an action. Yeah. Fair, yeah. Um, so I have 15 HP that I can restore. How bad are you what? In fact, how bad are we all? Huds, have you lost <laughs> HP? Uh, I've only lost one. Okay, uh, Wilfred. Nice. No, Halfling nimbleness. Good. You've not lost anything. Mm -hmm. And then what? Yeah. I've got six left. Uh, out of how much? <laughs> 32. Okay, uh, I'm just going to use all 15 on you then. <laughs> Like I'll just yeah, I'll just dump all of it on you. So we'll have fifteen health back. Like I just uh, I look at uh, you as we come out of the tent, uh, with with Unipar just blindingly radiant as always. I just put a hand on the shoulder and go, if you want the diamond, go for it, and you gain fifteen health back. I <laughs> uh, think I think we we we, we have to right because <laughs> if if if. <laughs> here's, here's my logic. If we leave now, Brill's just going to become the Bandit King. Maybe and you nothing know changes. Logic, honestly, you, you, like you, you, you. That it's good logic. I can't follow you on that. As a land, as a member of the Paladin troop, and being someone of lawful good nature, I have to clean up this mess. <laughs> yeah. Just think how good it'll look if we kill both of them. <sighs> I think we should. Let's Looks go. like you guys have decided. So, <laughs> as you run out, 
Brill is directly two squares to yourself. So I'd say top of the round, Argic, what do you want to do? Well, I just used Lay on Hand, so that counts, as, a single, that, right. that counts as my attack. So I will uh, stay where I am. Actually, no, I will move down to the side of Brill, believing that Brill still thinks I'm on their side. Sure. Um, but secretly, I'm blocking the exit to the left. Uh, Juniper. Juniper. I'm going to... So are we saying I'm just on the path, I'm guessing, and not actually on top of a tent? Oh, yeah. You can kind of be okay. kind of wherever you want out here, really. Yeah, like, cool. Kind of four square. Um, I'm going to catch cast Witch Bolt. Oh, mm. wait. How far is he? Yeah. That's uh, one, he's, two, he's three, less than five. 30, isn't he? Yeah, he's 25 foot. Yeah. Uh, I just kind of cast Witch Bolt at him. Nice. Or not. Yeah, it doesn't I'm hit. I'm guessing him. 11 doesn't hit, yeah. It yeah. doesn't, but he's not as armoured as, as um, Giles. He's not as heavily armoured. So it doesn't hit, but okay. um, he's definitely not as hard to hit. Okay. Uh, Janimo. Mmm. 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 Oh, am, I doing, I, am I doing a roll? Sorry, jump me to. Oh, sorry, of course. Yeah, I've kind of expected that to happen now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. No. Okay. So whatever we are now. I, I, no. I, I, I think I think going after this diamond is is bad idea. Yeah, you're too late for that. You're, you're, wrong. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you're also too late to voice that. You should have voiced that before. I should have. <laughs> um. Ooh. Well, actually, hang on, let me check. Can I... Uh, uh, Do him, <laughs> Do him! Am I able to use my fast hands action at all? Yeah, if you want to walk up to him and try and use I'm... fast hands to steal that diamond and get out of it, you absolutely can. Oh, wow. I'm, thinking, I'm thinking that. If I sneak up behind at the moment while he's uh, distracted, and, and I'm going to use my fast hands to try and pinch that diamond and, and run. Nice. So let me just remind myself what fast hands. Uh, bonus action. Yeah, make a dexterity sleight of hand check and let's see if you get it. Here we go. Ooh. I mean, plus the five for dexterity, 18. 18 is good. I'm going to say he is fighting for his life. You are a trained thief. You are a rogue. You get that diamond, and you don't just get the diamond. You're slick about this. You take that dagger, you just cut his pouch off, and you've just got his whole pouch, whatever's in there as well. Nice. nice. Uh, what? It is your go. You've actually just seen your halfling friend walk up and just sever his uh, the belt. I'm oh, sorry, one of the pouches from Brill's belt, where you've seen the diamond go in. So there's also a discussion about. about there was also a discussion about preventing the next bandit king. It was true. That's very uh, true. <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm going to take a cue from my paladin friend and uh, righteous fury. I'm guessing she's hey, hey. down there. <laughs> Guys down on. there raging axe to the him to the him. That's that's Just English. Standing in that's the hole of the tent in that <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I do you know what. Let's. I only know how to be reckless, don't I? Of course I do. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, and that's a oh nice nice it is a crit brutal critical time brutal crit 11 oof that's Plus nice. five, 16 16 my bad that is pretty pretty rough how much health he got yeah, 16 less um, than he had before. 16 less, yeah, he's looking, <laughs> he's looking pretty bloody. As you hit him in the back, he turns around, and he's just got this look of absolute fury, like, how dare you betray me? I am the traitor in this scenario. You betray me? No, I betray you. And, uh, yeah, he... You! <laughs> and with that, he will actually turn around, and he does not have advantage, mm -hmm. but he will attack you anyway. And he'll do it with disadvantage because I've got protection. You do. And he was going to attack, so he's going to do that. Anyway, he's got two attacks. So the first at disadvantage. Yeah, that's going to be a miss. The second also at disadvantage. Uh, yeah, with natural one, he misses. <laughs> that axe blow on his back is he's, he's disorientating him so much. He's just swinging wildly now, trying to both fend off the surrounding people, him, yourselves, and this bandit who is not on his side. And also attack, yeah, he's uh, he's close to close to fallen. 
That's his go. I'm just going to roll a d4 quickly. And see how many bandits. That's three more drop. And in what quadrant? Quadrant three. So one, two, three. They're gone. So we'll say these ones are disappearing. Ooh. See now some of them, you know, they're fighting. Not necessarily dead, but they're out of combat. You know, they're maimed, they're wounded, they're fleeing, whatever the case is. Three more have gone. Top of the round, Argic. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to be the same as what, like, we were, we're preventing the, the next uprising of the, uh, of the bandits here, so, might as well just go all in, I've got one more spell slot, so, we'll see oh, what guess. happens, <laughs> gotta add a divine smite to it, you know, um, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a roll, and we're gonna see what the roll is, um, I'm gonna call it just in case, but if this yeah. messes, can I use my inspiration? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's do the roll. See what happens. Oh, 15 plus 4, 19? 19 hits. Yeah, okay. So 1 D8 plus my Divine Smite. So two, 3 D8 in total. He so could three, survive, but you would have to roll terribly. <laughs> I really hope I don't roll ones here, but let's find out what happens. Uh, yeah, 11. 11. Plus my, two, plus my 2, so 13. He had, he had, the crucial phrase here, uh, 27 HP, and 13 takes the damage to 29. So yes, how do you want to do it? <laughs> yes! Uh, basically, I see the swing, you see him sw like swinging wildly, trying to defend. I just, I'm coming in, it's like I have the this, this shield out ready, it parries one of his blows, and as the parry gets off it, like, it just blocks it, it's just thinking, that's when I take the chance, just come in with the right hook on the swing, blessed with the power of the Divine Smite, you just feel the force, and as he gets forced, he gets knocked down into whatever patch it is that's beside, yeah. like, that little bit in there, so he's just like, he's knocked into that, and he's yeah. just, no, that's it, he's, he's gone. You can all see from the sickening angle of his head and his limbs and his torso. <laughs> it's completely unnatural, and there is no coming back from that. No, that radiant damage just... Yeah. <laughs> it's suddenly, uh, Juniper's blinding light is actually overshadowed for a brief moment of the power of Lathander as he yes. channels through the Warhammer, and this bandit starts taking steps back very, very scared. <laughs> <laughs> With that, guys, I think unless you guys want to keep fighting, which you absolutely can do, now if you wanted to escape would be the time. I, I don't think there's any point in fighting. Unless you really believe any one of these is going to become the next leader, I think we're safe. I mean, no, the I only reason to stay... Out. Yeah, the only reason to stay and fight would be to claim this for where we live now, but we don't know <laughs> We claim this in the name of the village. <laughs> If we are going to end up combat that, there, then we do have yeah. one final uh, wild magic roll oh. to, to deal oh, with. Oh, this might <laughs> tell what happened. Go on. This could be good. This could be really good. Go on, go on, Juniper. Uh, we got a more. donation oh. from so much. Jen Dutton. Oh. Oh, oh, oh sorry, Jen. Jen. That is oh, sorry. It's a good one. Okay. It could have been, imagine a fireball at the end or something like that. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everything. Nice. And with that, as uh, the blinding light that is uh, Juniper, as you run into the forest nearby after a 30 or so seconds does fade and can now talk without shouting, you guys have a, several diamonds. You have the one worth 100 gold. You also have three more worth 25 gold each. <laughs> I'll roll. How much gold would he be carrying on him? He'd be carrying a fair bit. Uh, I'd say you get 20 more gold pieces from him. You also have the belt buckle that belongs to Giles. And yeah, next couple takes you two days. You do manage to get back to town. You present the trophy to, uh, what was the gentleman's name? Landall Hempshire, who is so impressed with it, he actually displays it as a trophy in the local tavern, puts it above the fireplace uh, with a record of your deeds. The town absolutely welcome you. In the next couple of days that uh, go by, you hear that the bandits have indeed dispersed. With no clear leader, losing both Giles and Brill, they quickly fell into infighting amongst themselves, no one's strong enough to unite them again, and have started to be hunted down by local town militia. Now there's no longer 30 of them, or whoever was, you know, the scattered amounts, the uh, local town militia can more than handle the ones that remain. And you have certainly helped save the town of Two Fields from definite economic disaster, as well as just absolutely you know, being, you know, ruined and wrecked by local bandits and helped the uh, the, the young woman um, 
Ariella, you know, make some gold as she sold her hair nice. and she recovered. And indeed, you have 10 more gold pieces waiting for you for the recovery of the bandit who is now in the jail. Well done, guys. You that was hey. awesome. Hey. <laughs> 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 well done. And no one died, awesome. which is always good. No one died, no yeah. One died. Hey. I'm amazed. A little bit, but no one died. I, I, was, I was worried for a minute. Yeah, I didn't realize how low you were. I mean, that was, yeah, one more hit from Giles or like, you know, mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Touch and go. Especially as like saying to him, Minder's off screen, like, um, you know, before he did this, I'm like, you know, Giles is, is pretty nasty. Like I said, I don't pull punches. And if someone drops, mm -hmm. he's probably finishing that job because he is not a, uh, well, he's a bandit captain. He rules by fear. So, uh, yeah, that was touch and go for a bit there. But well done, guys. Also, and you s did not expect her to kill Brill as well. You finished Brill. You've absolutely cut the head off the snake twice. <laughs> well done. Oh, man, that was good fun. Thanks for playing. It's a lot of fun. Thank you that for DMing and, and thank you for organizing this, Mindas. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. It's been amazing. amazing work. No problems. I've had a really good time just like watching and enjoying the chaos and managing all the crazy number of wild magic rolls thank you everybody who's donated for those Absolutely. seriously we managed to get five <laughs> five so props fun. in the end <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, got, we got some good stuff like i was a bit worried there and it's like oh yeah. where's unicorn i'm a bit sad we had no fireball but <laughs> yeah, i kind of wanted the fireball one that was yeah. yeah right in the middle of the I, tent <laughs> I don't yeah. know what it is about wild magic that every time I've seen wild magic, the pink bubbles have always appeared. <laughs> Just every time. Yeah. Yeah. Always, always the pink bubbles. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. No, I'm, glad, I'm glad that you all, you've all had a good time. As I say, thank you all for participating. Thank you so much, um, Prince of Crows, for uh, DMing that. Uh, thank you, everybody, for donating and just watching and enjoying. Um, I hope we're going to go around everybody, and you can all feel free to do what, like whatever shout outs you want or whatever um, like plugs you want to do. So uh, we'll start with Argic. Uh, well, thank you very much for running this, Mendes. It's been amazing. And uh, Prince of Crows for DMing. It's been absolutely amazing. Really weird seeing the DM roles as well. Like That's been a very interesting uh, change, but I appreciate you DMing. This has been a lot of fun. Um, if you all enjoyed this, you can come, uh, hopefully, do this again in the future. Like, hen hen would tell Mendez to do it again. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I have been, I have been hard. Thank you. All right, Delphic. Uh, yeah, just, again, thank you, everybody, for, for being here. Thank you, everybody who donated. Um, you've, you're all amazing. And uh, it's been a, such good fun. All right, Hudson. Yeah, I mean, for for my first D and D campaign, that was honestly awesome. Um, yeah, I I I thoroughly loved and enjoyed that. Thank you so much, Mendez, for putting it together. Prince of Crows, thank you so much for DMing. That was so enjoyable. You really brought it to life. And uh, thanks for thanks for inviting me along. And and you know, despite having never played before, it's it's nice to be included. And uh, yeah, it was. Um, I really want to do it again. Uh, an absolute pleasure to have you, and I'm, I'm glad you got. A, I'm glad you got one good roll um, twice in a row. Uh, <laughs> out, of, out of the whole <laughs> evening, <laughs> literally I mean, one. Yeah, double double twenty. Th those are rare. Like they're rare. <laughs> and uh, I'll what take it. Uh, just when are we doing it again? Uh, thanks. <laughs> 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 Let's go! <laughs> um, yeah, it's been amazing. Yeah. Thank you all. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. And finally, Prince of Crows. Honestly, just, yeah, first of all, thanks to everyone that donated. That's absolutely amazing. It's great to know, you know, we can have some fun and do this. And, you know, Mindez makes it, you know, for a great cause. Um, to all of you guys, honestly, it was, it's I, one of my favorite games. I love the ML, I love playing. And just, you all, so much fun, really got into the characters, you know, like, you you know, having our first session, you know, Halfling Rogue critting on the boss in your first session, that's great. <laughs> you know, the, the Barbarian, it's all under control, guys, don't worry about it, you know. <laughs> uh, you know swinging wildly at the end there, hit, you know, kill stealing, I love it in the best way possible. <laughs> and the Wild Magic Sorcerer, and honestly, Mindez, you've sent it all up. Just, yeah, honestly, guy, that absolute blast, absolute pleasure from my behalf to, to play with you guys. And a couple of quick ones from me. If anyone wants to follow me, I do a bit of painting and stuff online. I'm mostly on Instagram. I'm at the Prince of Crows. And if you want to run this yourselves, it's called the Knight of the Rise. Um, here's the artwork for the picture by Jeff C. Stevens. It's on DM's Guild. I really recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It's one you can kind of scale from anything from level one to level seven. Um, it gives you tips on how to scale it, and you can easily drop this in for one session into your into your own campaign. Really, really good fun. And so Jeff C. Stevens, if he ever does see this, that was great fun to run. Thanks for writing it. 
Yeah. Absolutely. So I think it only remains for me to say, hi, I'm Mindas. Um, I've, I've kind of organized this rabble to be here tonight. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, been, it's been a lot of good fun. Thank you so much to everybody. <laughs> We've raised over £500 for, for ACT tonight, um, which is, again, utterly, utterly incredible. Um, uh, uh, there's a couple more events coming up for the rest of the month. So uh, in two days on Thursday, we have the Sando 100 uh, with myself, <laughs> Argic, and Huds, and a bunch of the Sonic Spearman community, uh, where we're going to be running Sandopolis 100 times. That's going to be uh, super fun. And again, uh, hopefully raising some more money for, for ACT. Uh, and finally, at the end of the month, on Friday, I have the Descathlon, where I'll be doing 10 speed games back-to-back. Uh, am I prepared for it? Absolutely not in any way whatsoever. Uh, but, you know... We'll we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it on the day. It's fine. We'll do it live. <laughs> One question for you, Mindes. When are you doing the wet sandwich? Uh, and with that, uh, I think it's time. I, I think uh, and I'm losing signal. It's 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 on. Oh, oh, I'm going. To... Wait, wait. <laughs> my streaming PC is going. Yeah, my streaming PC is going into a tunnel. Oh no. <laughs> can I can I recommend not Marmite? Oh. Yes, I will. I will avoid using Marmite. All right. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for, for showing up. Who can we go and raid? Uh... Decisions, 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 decisions. I kind of want to go raid another D and D stream. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Oh man, that was so much fun. Yeah, let's go raid another D and D stream. We're gonna go go raid. Uh... Roll together RPG. Uh, who are currently mid session uh, doing a campaign called The Cold Heart. Uh, yes, thank you very much. And uh, hopefully, see you uh, in a few days for some more events. Bye! 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 Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>